Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Donovan Ragnarok and I'm playing Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to successfully execute the Times 20 Kaioken Kamehameha attack and towards the end of the video, I'll compare the damage to the Times 4 Kaioken Kamehameha. I've seen a few videos already covering this subject, but none of them quite seem to do it right, so hopefully with this video we will. Uh, a lot of people talk shit about the Times 20 uh, Kaioken Kamehameha saying it sucks, it doesn't connect, but actually it's a great attack. It deals loads of damage, and it's definitely more powerful than the times four uh, Kaioken Kamehameha. You just gotta have a little bit of skill to use it. So a few, uh, a few quick things before we get started. In order to use your times twenty, you're definitely gonna have to use a stamina break. However, the up triangle stamina break does not work with this attack. You must use the up triangle. I mean, I'm sorry, the up box stamina break. The second thing to keep in mind is that you have to execute your ultimate attack immediately after the stamina break animation in order for it to work. So to go over those two key points one more time, you must use the up box stamina break and execute your ultimate attack immediately after the stamina break animation. Alright, let's get started. Let's see, who are we gonna beat up on? Let's beat up on... Let's beat up on Zarbon. Everybody hates Zarbon. You forget your place, what? Dude's such a fag. I'll start by demonstrating the incorrect execution of the attack, which is probably what most of you guys are experiencing. Ciao. I'm gonna change some training settings real quick. Unlimited, unlimited. Alright, we're good to go. Okay, so here's what happens when you attempt to use your 20 times 20 Kaioken Kamehameha without doing a stamina break. And as most of you already know, probably know the beam missed entirely. Uh, here's why you don't use the up triangle stamina break with this attack. It smacks your opponent down onto the ground and makes your character unable to pursue them to successfully connect the times 20 ultimate attack. And now here's what happens when you use the up box stamina break. And there you go. There's that's the proper execution of the times 20 Kaioken Kamehameha. Now let's try the times four Kaioken Kamehameha. All right, I didn't do that properly. <laughs> you know, another advantage of the times 20 over the times four is that there's no downtime after using the alternate, as opposed to the times four, your character has to catch his breath if you double pumped it. Okay, so with my character's build, the damage difference is about uh, 6 to 8, uh, about 2600, so that equates to what, about 30% damage difference roughly. So actually the times 20 Kaioken Kamehameha is 30% stronger than times 4, <laughs> which is so much for a uh, uh, technical accuracy in terms of the labeling, because the times 20 Kaioken Kamehameha definitely isn't What's five cool? times stronger than the times four. Should probably be more accurately labeled like a times six Kaioken Kamehameha. <laughs> Anyways, thanks guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. Have fun.